this is the I'm waiting for this for a while this is the in a previous video you saw it I, I did get it I just didn't unbox it this is my inverter it's from a company called Kotex it's a 3000 watt pure sign inverter it's not as heavy as my other one probably because I don't know why maybe this isn't an inverter charger I don't know, either way, this was kind of the last piece I needed in my electrical stuff so I could actually start mapping out how everything's going to fit underneath the bed. So I'm glad that I got this, so that'll be coming up in a future video. But today's video, I'm gonna be talking about how I'm fastening my 80-20 panels, like the actual skins or the wooden panels to the 80-20 skeleton. I'm getting a lot of questions on that. So I'm gonna grab a coffee and Show you what I did there. Got a new microphone. You guys probably noticed in the last few videos, but the room that I'm in isn't very good acoustically. So I was getting a ton of echo and people were complaining about the audio. So for these talking head bits, I upgraded the mic. Hopefully it sounds a lot better. Let me know in the comments what you think about the voice part of these videos lately. But yeah, today's video, we are talking about how I am fastening the wooden panels to the sides of my 8020 skeleton. It's a question I'm getting a ton in the comment sections of previous 8020 videos and in my Instagram. If you're not following Instagram, I'm posting a lot of content on this van build in not my personal Instagram. I started one specifically for this van build, so make sure you check that out. So just quickly, I'm gonna talk about the panels that I am attaching to the skeleton. I am using a half inch plywood. I'm using Baltic birch plywood. And I am covering both sides in most, case, most cases with high pressure laminate. On the insides, I'm just using a, I think they call it like designer grade or commercial grade white. It's just like a regular white laminate. And on the outside, I'm using a few combinations of different colors. I go over the high pressure laminate in another video and the colors that I'm using. But when it comes to fastening it to the 8020, I wanted to have kind of a hidden fastener system. I wanted it to basically attach from the back side, not the front side, so you didn't see the fasteners coming through from the front. So what I ended up using was these threaded inserts. These threaded inserts are I forget the exact dimensions of them, but basically I had to make sure that they were less than half an inch because they needed to be able to thread into my half inch panels. And they are, I believe they're M4s, so I had to get matching M4 hardware for them. And once you have the, once you have the threaded insert, a steel angle bracket, all of the matching hardware, it's actually pretty simple to install the panels. So the first step installing the panels onto the 8020 is to just kind of get them test fit in place. What I would do first is I would just make the panel and clamp it on the face that it was getting fastened to. Once it was fastened in place, I took my 90 brackets. I just got these off of Amazon. Again, the link will be in the description below. And I placed the angle brackets onto the 8020 where I wanted the fastener to be. Once I had that done, then using a spring-loaded punch, that spring-loaded punch, I could mark the back of my panel where I needed the threaded insert to go so everything would line up. So I would get all of the angle brackets in, clamp the piece in place, and then use a hole punch and punch out where I needed to put the threaded inserts into the panel. Once you took the panel off, you could now see the indents in the panel that the punch made, and it was time to drill those out using just a regular wood drill bit so I could thread in the threaded insert. 
One thing to be careful of is I like to use a little PEX over top of my drill bit to act as a safety stop so I don't accidentally drill too deep. So I just basically used a caliper, measured the threaded insert, and then found a drill bit that was just slightly smaller so it would thread in easy. Once I had the holes drilled, I just put a little dab of wood glue inside each of them and then threaded in all of the threaded inserts into the piece. And after that, the piece is basically ready to go. I did have to get the, again, I'm using these small, tiny little M4 fasteners. I had to buy fasteners that were less than the half an inch. I mean, they could be a little bit more than half an inch, but I had to buy the right size fasteners so they would allow everything to tighten up. And basically that's all I'm doing for all of the areas where I'm fastening a wood panel to the 8020 skeleton. So that's the entire galley, that's the skirting on the bed frame, that is the sides of the wardrobe unit. Um, and so far I really like the clean install, it looks really nice. You don't see really any of the 8020 once it's been put up. It seems super strong. One thing that I might do is actually use some Loctite and Loctite these panels on. Right now I haven't done any Loctite really anywhere. So a lot of the fasteners, I'll probably back them out, put a bit of Loctite in and put them back in afterwards. But that's essentially how I'm fastening everything to the 8020 skeleton, which leaves me with no fasteners on the outside and a really clean install. Hopefully that answers your question on how to fasten your panels to your 8020 skeleton. Again, if you like this video, hit that subscribe button and we'll see you in the next one.